Uh, I'm actually waiting till I get into the game to say anything. Yeah, this is looking better because I um, I'm not looking at a one bar connection, but yo, that man Swalton, that's a that's a name I personally haven't seen in a while, but assuming that he's been keeping it up with Cervantes, that's what he's known for. Sidestep GDR, yeah, he's a. Uh, even if I haven't been up with him, he looks like he's still pretty fresh. Got a good grip on that step. Showing that stone wall defense either. Just uh, holding G for dear life. Doesn't want to fall prey to any tricks. He's bit a little bit on 6-6-B, but it happens. Got caught stepping again. Two checks in. Finally got caught swinging with the wild rising B. <laughs> Ridge broke down the wall. It's good offensive looks. Was able to pull that first round back. GI. A little too deep with his 3B though. Didn't get the GI he wanted, didn't get the, the level that he wanted, but didn't get hurt too too badly for that. Got a long range play, yeah, keep him in check. And the A6 is yeah, everybody's favorite move from Cervantes. This is so good. Ooh. Taking out the ankles. Picking up the spare on the ground. Solta. Here we go on around three. It's just round three looking like he's not biting on the, the 6B this time. Catching the ankles again. He's found a couple of, uh, Sultan found a couple of good looks with the lows so far. Um, closed out the second round with one. Got a knockdown right there. Taking a soul charge at this just so we can uh, keep up in the meter game. Trying to see how much he can get with this. Good looks. Pressure as well. Just chasing him down. Ooh. Yeah, after uh, losing his balance, gets back up again with the reverse edge. And oh, yo, Riz had the right idea. Like I've been saying, he's uh, his ankles has got messed up a couple of times, so he smelt that Sultan was going down there again. Didn't think he'd finish the string, is why he finds himself down one round of twos. We're going to four, but yo, guess who's back on them ankles? Sultan, yo, put it back. Getting his face, and this is a really good time to get his face as well because there's a, a lot of divine force coming out, a lot of plus frames in his face. But there's also a lot of shovels coming as uh, Ridge is digging again with the wild rising B, looking for it one more time, but gets backed up with the Glock. Solid duck under the throw, and we're keeping it really even. Duck to see if there was another one coming. Hey, yo, just ran in with the 50 50. Not enough to take him around just yet. Soul Charge gets in space, gets one more time to play. Steps away, doesn't get his ankles blown up. And the step in gets through the thunder. Ridge was looking for him to go a little further out, probably uh, thinking that uh, A6 in the shots was coming, or maybe the unblockable shots would salt it. Taking the road less traveled, getting up close and personal. And just kicking the first game over to his side. Good looks. Welcome to the stage of history retold. Prepare to be amazed. Yeah, it's pretty early in the tournament. There's uh, not a whole lot of reason to see people abandoning their characters just yet after 1L. It happens sometimes. And it's not like Riz got completely blown out of the water. It was pretty competitive, so. Don't know if he'd be one to have another character, but yeah, don't need to see it just yet. AA's in the check, and yo, 3AK. <laughs> don't be moving too soon. Discus. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him being a little too greedy with the reversal is there. Giving Riz a pretty hefty lead to start this out. He's really in there fiending for the for the wild rising bees. I mean, and it's not so much that he's looking for the the counter hit specifically. I'm under the impression that he's just paying a lot of respects to highs and throws coming out. Also doubling to look for lows as well, depending on how late he looks. Hey, case in point, gets under a throw. Back turn, but steps around. Oh, that's a side throw. It was a little too slow. It happens. Now we're getting into the crunch time. 6-6-8 six, six, plus G. Good old command throw from Rids. Gets himself on the board in game two. Yeah, I see Sultan creeping over there. 
trying to see if he can make a little space away from Cass. If only you had a better back step. Nice! Slides himself out of the corner. Big launch. Go big 3B! <laughs> Gave him a lead and a half at that point and just gonna soul charge. He's... That could have been a little worse for him right there. I mean, I say that as he loses the grip, but he didn't get punished immediately from the soul charge. He just didn't get a chance to play with it. Ritz smothered him down. Making a good conversion from the Yo, he's over the top with a butt. <laughs> Lethal hit. It's on the 4-4, four, four, B plus K. Lethal hit from light attacks. Yeah, he's uh, <laughs> holding off to his lead. Be careful dancing around out there, because yeah, that man is a strap. Ran again. Paying a lot of respect to the step. Couple of checks. Didn't get too much of it. And now it's Sultan's turn. Another bomb of a 3D from downtown. Ah, uh, but he ran into a reverse list. Rochambeau, where do we go? Trading the caves round two. Yo, big step. 3D again. We going around four. Sultan dodging a bullet, staying in this game. Oh, trying to get away from the two A. Oh, here we go. A Titan struggle, taking the divine force. But yeah, I see that flash over there. I wasn't paying attention to the yellow too much, but the red is going to be looking kind of dangerous for Ridge. I mean, he's been playing a lot of uh, using a lot of evasion, uh, a lot of wild rising D's. So he's going to get away from the highs, but um, he's got to be so so careful because it's going to be real easy for him to give up two solid hits. One trying to move and one trying to defend himself. And uh, there's the one from the defense. Just got their reverse was blown up a little too slow. And he's still flashing. So he still doesn't want to block. As we're here in round five. And Sultan is bringing the pain. Stand up and block. And he found the 3D to get some space with the soldier. And just like the constant that's been throughout the entire set. Sultan soul charged the back. But it's not looking too good for him as he got picked up. Ridge trying to even this up, stomping on him with the uh, quarter circle forward K. Kata moving with the 3A. Soul charge again. And Sultan doesn't have the meter to match this, so he has nowhere to run. Finds himself locked in the corner. Good GI and the GI bait. Yo. Big pickup. Not enough to take the round. I think. Does he get a ring out here? Hold up. I actually don't know this. He gets another lethal hit. That looks really good. Oh, Ridge got up just in time with a block hit the 2K. Hit the low 2K, the favorite game. Everybody remembers that from the Dreamcast day. Love you, 2K. Always got to keep that in the back pocket at the end of the round. Lifeline that Rids needs to find himself in the third game. One up against Sultan. Fear me. Let me show you how to win. Yo, hold up. Ritz took his jacket? That's what happened? Pirate's life for me? Pirate's life for me in game three? See if he's going to be able to keep... Oh, I ain't going to be able to see nothing. I got kicked out right at the end. There we go. So, I mean, I heard you suggest I look at the stream, but uh, <laughs> not only is there going to be the stream delay, here's going to be, like, the added delay of all the plugins. So, uh, I could do that. That ain't really going to work. But hold on. And since the suggestion was for me to look at the stream, looking in the stream, uh, they are just picking characters. So, yes, yes, that's delay that's not going to do anything for you, I believe. <laughs> Yeah. 
Shut up.